It's like it, it didn't happen. Th thank you. Three weeks I've been waiting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's General! It's 2013 and we have a new terrible joke to destroy. Thank you, Stage Left Band, and thank you all for coming. Good night. All right. I know, just short, quick, done, goodbye, go drink. No. Okay. It's 2013. We survived an apocalypse with style. We did Christmas Eve here with a record audience. I, we, I'm not going to lie. We assumed that it would be just us, a handful of people, and anyone who wanted to stumble in drunk. And we had a full house and an mate. I'm sorry, Sky Gods. What have we done wrong? And the, and the Christmas ghost apparently joined us. I'm really sorry you had to take a moment and see me in full light. That's awful. I feel really bad about that. I missed you too. But we, we actually had this amazing show. And then, you know, we actually, for the first time in a year and a half, took a week off. And I know some of you are, are happy to be back. Yes. And we're back just after New Year's, so this is technically the first show of 2013. First show of the new year. I know everybody's probably laughing about their resolutions. Who's made resolutions? No. Perfect. You got the right idea. No, everybody does it. They go, I'm going to change my life. I'm going to ignore everything that happened last year. Arguably, there are some valid reasons to feel that way. Last year was tough for a lot of people, I'm saying. But you know... They, they do this. They throw everything out. They go, I'm going to be a whole new person. Three weeks later, they're back doing the same stupid stuff. Bravo. Here's an idea I've been toying with. I remember another major milestone of this show. We were just after, the, literally the Monday after our one-year anniversary, a record show, which we then blew the doors off two or three times since then. But we, we were there, and I walked up on stage terrified. We'd had this huge audience, this amazing show, and it was just the following week, and I felt like, what the heck can I offer? What, what could there possibly be? And I walked up here and I, and I was prepared to apologize. I said, well, you know, it's a week after our big show and we're, we're just going to do the best we can. Those were the words that were loaded into my mouth. I thought this, you know, I'll just be honest. And I said, well, you know, it's a new week and, and I heard a voice from right down here. And I'll never forget this. I hear a voice echo up. It says, we build from here. And it was something I had said in the first few months of, putting this show together was, you know, no matter how we do, we're just going to keep building on what we're doing. And somehow it got us to here. And I think it's the best piece of advice I can give you about resolutions. It's the best piece of advice I can give you about how to get better at anything. Whatever it is you're working on this year, if, you're, if you've got a little something you've put some time into, just keep working on it. Building from here is how we got that on, uh, Brett was telling me, February 4th, I believe, will be our 100th show. We haven't told you new people how many times we've screwed up. We've just told you we're about to hit our 100th show. You see how it works? You build the goods and you just lie about everything else. It worked. The, the theory works. And after that, we start picking up steam. In a couple of months after that, whoa our second anniversary. Two years of open stage. Guys, that's a huge milestone. That's over 100 shows. That's two years here at the House of Poets. We are rocking. And that's just what's going on here. At the same time, the Circus Freaks have been working with the city of Dallas on busking programs. We've got all of this stuff going on. We've been in... We've been invited to festivals. We're starting to look for people. We're starting to talk to people in our community about building other events and other places, shows. I was talking tonight to people about that we're starting to pick up really serious steam and how we did it and how we're gonna keep doing it is just one good brick at a time. So it's January 7th, 2013. I've survived an apocalypse, a personal trial of by fire or five and uh, I'm standing here in front of you guys after an amazing Christmas Eve was the last time I saw you. How about we throw another brick on it?
you know, there was this, I'm hoping there was this moment we can edit right before then. So when we build those bricks one at a time, they'll still think we're geniuses. <laughs> but if not, it'll look just like that and no, no one will care. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the open stage. Best train wreck I've ever witnessed. <laughs>